Section 5. Testing and Deploying. In this section, we're going to take a look at a few words and concepts about productization, release versioning, how to debug, test, monitor, and handle your errors, and a few words about the future of Path. Let's start with deploying and distribution with version control. In this video, we're going to take a look at why it's important to version, how to do versioning, and how to tag your distribution. Let's start from a very important concept, versioning. Code versioning is very important, and at least it's very important because you can compare and analyze the changes you or your team did in the past. You can track back the origin of a problem, think about a bug, or when you start working on a feature, and of course, you can always throw back changes. In Python, that's easier. We already seen in the previous videos how to version your Python packages. And that's everything inside the setup.py file. But how the Python package should be connected to the code? Well, you can use code versioning, and then you have several options. The most popular are creating a branch for each release you have, create a tag for each release, or note down the commit number for each release. Mind that the Python package number and the code number are not in sync usually. You have to do several commits in order to create one release of the PyCon package. And that's not all. You actually need three versions. The package version, the release version, and the code version. And they all must be synchronized. For example, you should be able to answer the following questions. What version was in production on the 31st of November 2019? Which packages version were used as dependencies for that production? And how the code looked like for each of those dependencies? As you can see, package version, release version, and code version are different, but they must be synchronized. Each of them should tie up in order to understand which code was composing which release and which packages was composing which release. So let's see how to version. And that's more generic than just Python. Usually, a version is composed by three numbers separated by a dot. Some others use the timestamp, for example, 2019-11-30, but the most popular way is to use a major dot minor dot revision. Mind that using zero as a major means that the package is still in alphas on beta, so it's not yet production ready. Still, a few packages out there are still on major zero. Revisions are small changes or bug fix, and there should not be a breaking changes between them. So 2.10.10 or 2.10.11 shouldn't have really breaking changes. They sh just should have a bug fix or a small revision feature introduced. Major change usually introduce major changes. For example, that's what happened between Python 3 point something point something else and Python 2 point something point something else. As for the minor, the intermediate number, they are usually compatible, but remember, read the release notes in order to understand what's been outdated and when it's gonna be outdated. There might be some breaking changes, but they are slow. 